Welcome back to our channel, everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, go ahead and do that. We post new videos twice a week, Monday and Friday, all the RV life stuff. So today we're going to let you know how things are holding up in our camper, our travel trailer. We've been living in here for about three and a half months at this point. We did a full tour at the very beginning so this is kind of a version of that. We renovated this thing by ourselves. So if something isn't holding up very well, we can say that's on us. I'm gonna give things a grade, A, B, C. We're gonna skip D and maybe F. We'll see how things go. But we're gonna start from the top to the bottom here on the inside of the camper and let you know how things are going. Okay, so first let's talk about our AC unit since that's on the ceiling right here. Um, the only issue that we've really had that wasn't our fault was we had some dripping coming from the AC unit. That's happened a couple times. We're not entirely sure what it is. So we're gonna give the AC a B plus. Uh, it keeps the camper very cool. It works really well when we're plugged in. Again, the only issue that we've had is the dripping and it seems to only happen when it's really, really hot out and we're running the AC quite a bit. I don't think we're gonna be using it too much for the next few months though. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the interior paint job that we did on all of the cabinets, um, uppers and lowers. We painted the walls too, so I guess we'll just say interior paint in general. I'll give it an A minus. It looks great. It's held up really well for the most part. Um, super easy to clean. I'll link the paint colors and everything that we used. My only issue is because we painted over cheap vinyl on these cabinets, it did peel. It is starting to peel in some places. I think that's also just because we've been through a lot of different climates. The humidity doesn't help with that either. But apart from that, the paint is awesome. Really hasn't scratched at all. And when it has scratched or gotten scuffed, it's really easy to clean it. We use magic erasers for that or just soap and water and it works really well. All right, sticking in the kitchen, we're going to talk about the countertops. We made these countertops. They're a little dirty right now. I'm giving them a solid A. What do you think? A? I agree. Cole agrees. We made these using two by tens. We do have a video sort of talking about how we did that. So I'll link that here if you want to go ahead and check it out. Um, we didn't know what we were doing. This is our first time doing DIY butcher block countertops. And I put like seven coats of poly on these things and they've held up so well. It's really easy to clean really no scratches or scuffs and the scratches that are there just kind of give it character. So yeah, a solid A for our DIY butcher block countertops. Now on to the wood paneling and people were kind of fired up. Well, some people, like two people commented and they were like, why would you put all the wood on the walls? That's a horrible idea. Well, guess what? It still looks great more than three months in. I was really concerned about this, but I'm going to give it an A minus, and I'll explain why. I would give it an A, the only issue is we, so this is all nailed in, and there was one spot where the nails sort of came out of the wall, and so the panels were lifting at one point, but we just put new nails in and fixed it. That's not really an issue with the panels themselves, it's more just the nails and the fact that RV walls are thin and there are not studs in places where there should be, so you're often just nailing or screwing into nothing. Other than that, they've been great. They haven't cracked. None of them have ever fallen down. Uh, and they're really lightweight too. These are cedar. I'll also link these below. Okay, now we're gonna go into the bathroom. Come along. So we did the same countertops in here that we did in the kitchen, but now I'm gonna talk about the copper sinks. So we have one here. We also have one in the kitchen, um, B minus for the copper sinks. I love the way they look. They're super cool. They've functioned just fine, but they're really hard to clean. For some reason, the one here in the bathroom looks a lot better than the one in the kitchen, even though, you know, there's toothpaste and mouthwash and stuff that gets on uh, the one in the bathroom. The one in the kitchen just has like food and dishes sitting in it. And it just has tarnished really, really fast. And I've tried a couple different products to clean it. One was way too strong. Others aren't strong enough. So if you have a good way to clean copper sinks, I just don't think it's necessarily um, the best idea for a 
low maintenance space like an RV to have something like a copper sink in there unless you are an expert at cleaning copper sinks or you just never have anything in the sink. And now the wallpaper. The best part of the bathroom in my opinion. I'm gonna give the wallpaper an A. Almost went A minus but it's been great. So we had one little issue with it before we even hit the road. It was peeling at the top here because we put the wallpaper up in fall of 2021 and then it was parked in Colorado through the winter, it got cold and then it got hot again. And so with the crazy temperature change, this corner started to peel, but we put some adhesive up there and we haven't had that issue since. It's super easy to wipe clean. We haven't had any issues with it peeling or um, ripping or anything like that. It was kind of a pain to put up, but I'm really glad that we did. It's one of my favorite parts of the camper. I debated even talking about this in this video, but when I did the tour video, someone was like, what about the toilet? Actually, a couple people really wanted to know about the toilet. So I'll tell you about the toilet. I'm not gonna show you like the inside or anything. Uh, it is clean, don't worry. We have a Thetford toilet in here made for RVs. It is not fancy. It's the one that was in here when we bought it. Um, I'm gonna give it a B minus. So we haven't had any issues with the toilet recently, but there was a period of time in early July when it started to leak from the bottom, we needed to replace the flange seal. That's kind of a pain because it's an old toilet. We couldn't find the correct one. We had to like create one basically. It ended up working. It hasn't leaked since, but for the few days that it was leaking, it got underneath the floor and we were super worried about water damage and it just caused a headache. So. If you do have an older trailer with an older toilet, either swap it out or maybe just replace some of those faulty parts um, before you hit the road in it. I wish we would have done that. Out of the bathroom and now talking about the floors that we installed. This is definitely a budget flooring. It is a vinyl plank flooring that we picked up from Home Depot or Lowe's? Lowe's picked it up from Lowe's. It was about half the price of some of the other types that we've been looking at, but I'm really, really glad we went with this. I thought it was risky because it's only scratch resistant and water resistant, not waterproof. And with our two dogs, that just made me a little nervous, but it's been wonderful. Stuff has fallen on this. We've had pan slide off or other stuff on the countertops when we're driving slide off and there are no cracks no water damage that we can see. And yeah, they've just held up really well. So yeah, I forgot to give my grade. I'm gonna give the floors an A. One last thing on the inside of the camper that I'm gonna show you guys. Welcome to the under part of our bed where we have our batteries, our um, inverter charger, basically our whole solar setup. And I know people are gonna comment and be like, that is so dangerous for you to have that under your bed. These are lithium batteries. So there's pretty much no heat that comes off of them. They're much safer than the older style batteries that used to be in RVs. We had one of those before and it was not under our bed. It was in one of the pass-throughs. We have added ventilation in recent months. Now to give the grade for this whole setup, a minus. It's given us a lot of issues, but the benefit of having solar power and a setup like this totally outweighs those issues. Cole installed all of this by himself, which is pretty impressive because neither of us knew anything about solar power before. And when I say it's given us issues, it's like little things. So we had a part that broke on one of the switches that we had to fix and that just set us back a few days. Um, also, it's recently been doing a thing where even when we're plugged in to 30 amp electric, the battery monitor won't say that it's charging and we'll have to like totally reboot it, turn it back on, and then it says it's charging again. But when it's doing that, the battery isn't decreasing. It's not saying like our battery life is going down. It's just not charging. And once we turn everything off and turn it back on, then it starts charging again. So it's not a huge deal overall, though. It's just been 
really nice to have this despite the few headaches that we've had from it. So yeah, A minus. Okay, one last thing. We're gonna go outside. Cole's gonna stay in here. I'm gonna do this really quick and show you the exterior paint job. It's raining where we are, so just bear with me. Ooh. All right, so here she is, our lovely camper where we're set up right now. Um, I'm gonna give our exterior paint job a solid B. If you haven't watched the video of me painting the camper, I'll link that here, but it was really stressful. At times I felt like I had no idea what I was doing. The paint wasn't sticking well, but it's held up pretty well on the road. Um, a couple uh, chips in some spots, just from like rocks and stuff hitting it. We've driven like 10,000 miles, so that's gonna happen. But overall, it's held up well. Everybody thinks it's like a 1970s trailer, even though it's not, it's a 2007. The paint job just makes it look cool and vintage. One thing I don't love is it's not easy to clean. It's a kind of a rougher kind of paint and like stuff doesn't just slide off of it. So like the front is pretty dirty right now and we need to find a better way to clean it. Woo! Thank you so much for watching you guys. Uh, I'm glad to finally get this video out there. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any suggestions or anything for some of the issues that we're having. We always appreciate that, especially when people are kind about it. And I just wanna say that we are still learning. Again, we've only been on the road for like three and a half months. So we are not experts. We're just learning and sharing our experience as we go. Thanks again for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.